So in this video we are going to take a look at my favorite new feature of Blocks 3 and it is column width and offset controls. And I use this feature all the time to create fully responsive and adjustive layout for my pages. So let's take a look at the project here and see how I can use this feature. So here we have the simplest block we have in blocks, which is one column structure block. And it has just one column inside. And this one is actually set to be full width by default. So let's say we want to build 12 image grid and we want it to be fully responsive. We want to have four columns on desktop. We'll have three columns on tablet, two columns on small and one column on smallest breakpoint. And before adding images and adjusting all of the width settings, what I like to do is create one perfect column and then duplicate it. So let's set one image here like that. And uh, from here, we will adjust the width settings for this one column. So let's select the column, not the image, but the column. And we can make sure that we select the column here in the sidebar in the layer navigator. And from here, we will set the number of columns to three because, well, if we press on G and take a look at the grid, as you can see, by default, we have in total 12 columns and it is always 12. So if you want to have four columns, you need to have each column to be just three columns wide. So if we duplicate this image three times, we will have four columns. I will use command Z to cancel that because before duplicating it, I want to adjust it for all breakpoints. So let's go to medium breakpoint and by default it is set to width 12 to full width. So let's drag it and make it four because here we want to have three columns. So I will make the width four and in the small breakpoint, I will have two columns. So let's make it six like that. And on small, the extra small one, we will have just full screen one column. Okay, let's check how it looks. And after we're done adjusting the settings for this column, we can also maybe add some margin under the image. And now we can select this column and just duplicate it 11 times. And as you can see, now we have a perfectly looking grid of images. And if we go to preview mode, and if we change the size of our browser, so let's make it smaller. And as you can see, now we have three columns. Now we have two and now we have one. So depending on the screen size, our page will be perfectly resized and our grid will be perfectly adaptive to the size of the page. And you can use this technique to create any types of blocks. And it can be, for example, let's create one another. It can be, for example, heading this some um, description underneath. So let's add paragraph like that. And let's say we want it to be aligned to the center. So let's go to small breakpoint. So here we will have align it to the center like that. Maybe let's get rid of text. There is too much text like that. And in the bigger big point, what we will do, we will actually change the width to 10. And if we go back to medium brick point, as we learned in the previous video, because in blocks three is always mobile first, we will have the same settings set for this column for these two brick points. And maybe on the desktop one, on the large brick point, we will make it even smaller. So eight, two and eight, two. Okay. So yeah. And after we adjust these settings uh, with an offset settings for all brick points, we can actually save this block to our library and reuse it for all of the other pages. But we will cover custom blocks and all of the other details in the future videos. So for this video, I want to concentrate on the width and offset settings, which is a very powerful tool to make our layout responsive for all breakpoints.